It can be very hard to candle darker colored eggs, especially the dark brown, like the Marin's eggs. And in my case, we have a lot of olive eggers, this one over here too. And I find those to be even harder than the Marin's eggs actually to candle. So whether you have blue eggs or olives or dark brown, I'm gonna show you some ways you can tell if you have development in your eggs. Here is one of the eggs. Now, I have a super bright candler, so you can actually see a little bit of movement in there, some veining in there, which is actually unusual with most candlers. But I want you to see at the bottom, do you see how you can see that air cell? And when you're seeing in a dark egg the air cell really starting to light up, that shows you that you've got development inside the egg. So you may not be able to see for sure what's going on in there like I can see right now, but if you see an air cell, you can be assured that something is happening in there. And as time goes on, you'll be able to see more and more. But at this stage of development, see, and we can even see that chick in there a little bit. That air cell will kind of give it away. Here's a darker egg. And in this one, all I can see is that little tiny air cell down there. So that may be all you see, but that will help you know. For reference, here is a blue egg, which is a lot lighter. And see all the detail you can see on this candler and this egg. And see, you still see the air cell, but in this one, you can actually see through and see the chick moving around in there. We can see a lot of veining. So your dark eggs just aren't going to allow you to see that much detail normally with a normal grade candler. Okay, I'm hoping this picks this up. This is a clear egg, which means it's not developing, it um, was unfertile or something. And this one lights up all the way through. So when you're looking at a dark egg, when you see it light up like a little light bulb on there and the rest of them are darker with that air cell at the bottom, you can know that this one is infertile. Now, don't do this until you are about halfway through incubation because you're not gonna see a lot. And in the first week or so, it may look like all of them are infertile. So you need to wait until you're about at least halfway through to see. And at that point, I'm pretty confident that any clear ones, completely clear ones I see, that I can't see the air cell difference at the bottom, I will go ahead and discard. And here are some black copper Marin's eggs that we're going to candle. And these guys, as you know, are going to be pretty hard to see through too. Very dark. So let's see how we can tell. All right, so this is the first one. And I definitely see the air cell at the bottom, so I know there's been some development. I'm not sure if I'm seeing movement in there or not. And I'm not sure if I'm seeing veining. It's kind of hard. I think I might see a ring around there that shows that this one quit but I'm not going to do anything with this one again until about another week so I can definitely make sure it looks different than the others but since I see that air cell I know we had some development going all right here's a little guy and I can actually see movement and development at this one see the air cell at the bottom I see that that's very much defined these eggs are actually easier to see into than those olive eggers which are really dark. But um, again, I'm not seeing a ton of detail, but look for that air cell at the bottom. There's another one I'm not seeing a lot in there, and I might be tempted to think nothing is going on, but I see that air cell. So that shows me something is developing.